Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, with the vloggy thing, the Saturday vloggy thing, and you will get whichever vloggy thing number it is in the title and in the uh, thumbnail because I can't remember. I've been doing Vlogtober. It all kind of runs together at this point, all those numbers. Lots of stuff to go over today, despite being the Vlogtober thing and doing a video every single day. First, I want to jump into some happy mail. Now, ugh, look, cubes, and they're empty right now. Um, I actually have a set of these over there. Everything's kind of discombobulated right now, and those and this are going to end up what's actually behind me, and that's going to end up over there. Yeah, all over the place, and all the yarn's going to get rearranged because I got another set of cubes. I got those cubes because I won Trisha the Knitting Lady's uh, Potiversary prize, which was an Amazon gift card. So how about, you know what? I think I'm going to order another set of those. So thank you, Trisha. And I'm going to put her link down below. I don't know why you're not subscribed to her yet. She is a, so much fun. Make sure that you check her out. So that's a big thing that's been going on because I got the cubes. They've been, been put together. <sighs> Lots of things. Lots of whips going on. A lot of crochet alongs. Um, this from the Pick and Mix Cal with Lisa Ladybird Loves also will be linked down below. My main color is a Super Saver Ombre Stripes in Latte Stripes, which is this bottom chain row and the bottom uh, extended linked double crochet all the way across. It's going to be kind of a lapkin size for me. Then I have four rows of hell, basically, uh, also known as the waistcoat stitch. These fingers right here and my thumb still feel like they're blistered, even though they're not actually blistered from trying to push those stitches through. Yeah, no more waistcoat stitch. No. Okay, and then I went ahead and did next week's. Sorry, Lisa, I got ahead because I know I'm going to be working next week and did my two rows of my main color in my main stitch so that that is done and I'll be ready to go for whatever stitch comes up next and whatever color comes up next on the spinny wheelie thingy. Also, in the sort of ongoing whip category is my Crochet Tober Vlog Tober project, my little scrappy blanket. I have not put on today's colors yet. We went to uh, camouflage and some brown there, and we're going to get bright on the next round because I see it sitting in there. That's what's next. That is a thing, and I kind of, this has been fun to watch this grow. A lot of other uh, podcasters are doing this. This, of course, started with Neva. Manic Mama Musings, and Ashley from Stitch It Ain't Easy, um, them, and Cynthia's Crochet and Morme, and Ella from No Catchy Name, and Kayla, Llama Mama Kayla, and I think some others that I'm forgetting. I'll try to link everybody down below so you can see how everybody's blanket is growing. It is so much fun to see everybody's podcast every day and to see the blankets and see what colors everybody is doing. And some people actually have big spiders on their blankets. And Kayla did a really big web center. Man, hers is really cool and she's got a tutorial for it as well. Also, towels. Y'all know I'm kind of obsessed with the towel toppers. I have some that are in progress, like this guy here. Um, needs ends to be weaved in, needs a button, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the same with this one. Oh, I've got a, just a stack of them here. And I have this one that is just got the top put on it. Matter of fact, that is going to be the first part of my towel topper tutorial. Showing how I do this, my method for it, and how I uh, just fold the top down and exactly what I do to make it have that curved shape. So that'll be coming up on Fridays. Oh, and also got a really colorful one. The edging is not done on this and neither is the button, but look at that. Hello, hello, bright colors. Yes. So yeah, I'm still and continuously obsessed with the towel toppers. I can't help it. They're fun and easy to do. Something you can do in the car or in front of the TV. The hubby blanket has received absolutely zero love because of all these other things going on. And I have a feeling it's going to be pushed to the side a lot because I go back to work Monday. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've been on vacation this past week. Um, have gotten to do a lot of fun things, go out and eat and hang out with friends, and then work comes back Monday. Yeah, I'm kind of whining about it. Sue me. All right. <laughs> 
my three color challenge. Remember, the three colors that were chosen for my three color challenge were three chenille colors. The Just Chenille White, the Just Chenille Black, and the Just Chenille Yellow. Okay? And the thing that got the winning vote on the Spinny Beauty thing was a B. Didn't use a pattern, of course, because why would I do something like that? And I just kind of made it up as I went along. I kind of, kind of patted the butt to make it more round like it's supposed to be. But this is my little wonky, fuzzy, fuzzy bee. He's got little bitty wings and he's got his little bitty legs and little wonky eyeballs. And he's squishy and soft and kind of cute. And yeah, that is the bee from the three color challenge. Thank you for tagging me, Miss Neva. Anyway that okay set that aside good grief I've got stuff everywhere because I'm moving everything around did want to talk to you about what is going to be coming up also postcards y'all if you want a postcard swap anytime look at my description my email address is in my description you're just going to send me an email with the subject line of postcard and then give me your information and you know I will be happy to exchange postcards with you. I'll reply back. I'll give you my mailing information and then we can postcard around the world. There's already been some around the world. I just sent one off to uh, the UK and no, it's not Lisa. I have already sent Lisa one. Y'all know Lisa Ladybird loves her link will be down below. I have sent somebody else one. Abby, it's on the way. Woohoo! Uh, some all around the country, and it's just been fun. I actually bought a couple of sheets of postcard stamps, y'all. Yes, I am in for the postcards. Love it. I think it's fun. Good luck to people trying to read my handwriting. No, I'm just saying my handwriting is awful. So, yeah. Some other things that have gone on. Oh, yeah. I got a boo-boo. Kind of hard to see. The very tip of my finger. Y'all know I like to cook. I had a new mandolin that I wanted to try out. And I had a cucumber and I was on the cucumber and it went a little faster than I expected. Shaved off just the tippy tip of my finger. Yeah, I know better. I did it anyway. It's all good though. I was the only one eating the cucumbers, so I didn't care. It was like just a little bitty bit and it's right there at the tip. I will live, but I'll still show people my boo-boo. Got a boo-boo. I need to put a band-aid back on it because I'm going to do a lot of stuff around here. Um, coming up, Vlogtober every single day. I'm going to do my darndest to get a video out every day. Sometimes it may get out really, really late. Um, sometimes I may do it earlier in the day. Just kind of depends on how the day is looking. But every day this month and every day I will add to my Vlogtober blanket the spiderweb blanket yes and yes my spiderweb is kind of uh different than everybody else's it's kind of shifted and pulled differently that's because it was wonky af and i had to make it work and i did because well that's kind of what i do so also i have got uh snacks around the world that's still coming up on tuesdays I also have tutorials. There have been a lot of requests for my towel topper tutorials. Fridays, starting this coming Friday. It's either this Friday or next Friday. Mm, no, I can't remember. Maybe next Friday. Because first, I have to share the uh, half double crochet two together. Because my stuff is crochet from the beginning. Um, I know a lot of you out there are not beginners, beginners like I am. And we all have to start somewhere. There's a ton of tutorials for things like the extra super special magic 10 row repeat stitch or whatever. No, my stuff is from the beginning. So yeah, I'm going to show everyone how to do a half double crochet two together because you need that in my towel. Uh, matter of fact, for the towel that I do, you need mostly half double crochets, a tiny bit of single crochet and putting a button on, which I kind of presume everybody knows how to put a button on. Um, if I have to go back and show that, I will. I did not specifically go into how to put the button on because that one, yeah, that's 
pretty self-explanatory, I think, but I am happy to show anyone who needs to know. Yes, my beginner crochet brain. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. We'll see. Uh, all of the people that I've talked about earlier are going to be in the description down below. Please check them out if you haven't already. You may find some more fun folks to subscribe to and some more fun Vlogtober to follow as well. I do have one non-Yarny shout out today. And gosh, his name is Joe. Joe Scott. I just, I just totally blew a fuse there for a second. Joe Scott answers with Joe. Um, he goes into depth on a lot of different scientific things, but he breaks it down in a way that even if you're not, you know, super, if you're not Neil deGrasse Tyson, you can still understand the science. He really does a good job and he's funny too. His presentation is always fun. Sometimes he has some asides on a different camera where he's like, you know, spouting some opinion about something, but yeah, check him out. I'll have him linked down below too. Um, that's something that the hubby and I watch together all the time. So definitely fun. Oh gosh, my camera's trying to fall. We can't have that. Really. My new tripod doohickey is coming in soon, I hope. Because this one is held together with... <laughs> I'm watching it move. <sighs> with duct tape. And it's moving. So we may have to end this pretty, pretty soon. Oh, these are my nails. Um, Color Street nails that I got at... The fall festival yes i know my nail shapes themselves are awful because my nails are always awful but these are sparkly and halloweenish and i love them so yes and i have another set that's glow in the dark that i'll wear closer to halloween because of course i will thank y'all for coming by today please hit the like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment i would love to hear from you and i will see you very soon there will be a vlogtober video later today